Before we get started, be sure to check out these two videos on the screen where I share with you my full natural hair routine as well as all the current products that my hair loves. Did you really check it out? Did you? Alright, let's go! Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I've been getting a lot of questions on how I take care of my hair throughout the week. So last video I uploaded, well, maybe a few videos ago because I've been uploading twice a week. Last video was my full natural hair routine, especially when I've been ignoring my hair and I let it go dry. I showed you exactly how I get moisture back into my hair. So this video is going to be all about how I take care of my hair throughout the week. Granted, sometimes I get super lazy, not gonna lie, and I literally just pop them in a the bonnet and go to bed just like this. So my hair right now is a twist out. So the last video was me making twists in my hair after I have to care of it. So taking the twist out and picking it out, I get this twist out. Personally, I actually love this hairstyle because I can do it once and just let it get better over time. This is day one of my twist out. Now that my hair is getting a little bit longer, I actually do retwist my hair at night. First of all, I don't spend a long time on my twists, so I make them really big. I'm not concerned about the parting or anything like that. And the second thing, half of my head is a little short, so I don't get too concerned about the very back and the sides because they're pretty short. So I'll show you the products that I use. Where is my... There it is. So... Apparently this thing is open. I make a mess all the time, you guys. I'm just such a klutz. So I use my shea butter as a moisturizer. It's shea butter mixed with different oils and aloe vera juice, etc. I buy this locally. I do go ahead and use the live-in, which is the same as, almost the same as this one, but it's lighter. And I get it from the same lady. So this is the unscented hibiscus live-in conditioner so I use this first I use this one because it's a little thicker right after just to seal in the moisture and I go ahead and twist my hair so I just got home <laughs> I went to a barbecue so I figured this would be the best time to show you exactly how I take care of my hair at night moisture honestly is so important when it comes to natural hair you could ignore your hair and not moisturize it, but then if it's dry later on, you have no one to blame because 4C hair just loves, loves, love moisture. Anyway, so I'm basically just grabbing sections of hair and then I'll add in, if I can open it now that I closed it, I'll add in my moisturizer Ooh. and call it a night. In the summer, you can get away with moisturizing less because I find that my hair stays moisturized a little bit longer in the summer because it's warm, there's humidity in the air, so it's not a big deal. But when you start heading into these winter months, you have to moisturize, you have to pre-poo. If you want healthy hair, like Nappy Fu says, you gotta do healthy things. So now that my hair is done, pretty messy with it. I don't take too much time because the longer it takes to do, the more I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and use my bonnet. Just a little tube that you pop on, and there it is. I am ready to wash off my makeup and go to sleep. If you have any questions on this routine go ahead and leave a question down below it's pretty easy but once you sort of get into the routine of moisturizing your hair ever so often your hair will stay moisturized 